is love is love um we're gonna be going ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pay homage to beautiful beautiful source to the angels the ancestors so i do want to go ahead and do that first and foremost Call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So, as you can see, I have my drum here. And we're just going to go ahead and this is called an ocean drum it's like $30 30 to $40 on Amazon if you like the way it sounds I'm not getting no proceeds from it but I mean I like to know what things are um, so this is a this is a um, ocean drum my daughter got this for me for Christmas so let's go ahead you could close your eyes Get a couple of deep inhales, exhales to center your body, to ground your energy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's inhale deeply through the nasal and exhale through your mouths three times. Ashe. Of course, my daughter's calling me. It's always like clockwork. Give me one moment, y'all. Sorry. Pardon me, y'all. My daughter calls every time. She just be checking in. You know, that's just the type of relationship me and my children have. My son, he be outside. He'll call and check in. Hey, Ma, you good? <laughs> you know, that's just how we do. So I apologize. All right, let's go ahead and get these three inhales. And then we shall go ahead and uh, utilize the, the ocean drum. Okay. All right. Inhale through the nasal. As I said, exhale through the mouths three times. All right. Exhale. Inhale.
I get lost with this one, bro. I literally close my eyes and I be feeling like I'm literally at the beach. <laughs> so if that was long, my bad. All right, y'all. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. It is 540 on the clock. So that's nine. So there's definitely some change. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. Nine is also dealing with the hermit. So just as I was speaking earlier about going within and focusing more on myself or focusing more on yourselves, um, that is just confirmation that that's exactly where we should be right now. Uh, nine is about introspection. You know, the hermit looks within. The hermit likes to reflect on things that may have occurred in the past, uh, but he's also a wizard. So this speaks to the wisdom you already have um, and the wisdom you've already obtained. And so this will give you a sense of, you know, um, a, a sense of awareness, you know, it's, it gives you an opportunity to really be able to to assess whatever you got coming towards you uh, with a completely different scope because you've already looked at things that have occurred in the past and you're moving forward more, more aware, you know, more uh, clear minded, if you will. Um, and also more protective of yourself, your energy, your space, what you allow into your space. Because your space, your time, your energy, all of those things are very sacred. And so there's no more just coming in, wasting time. This is really about self-love, self-discipline, knowing your self-worth, doing those internal self-audits, and discovering you know, where your path is, where you're headed. Um, so this is a beautiful energy of like really taking that time to meditate, to get things straight. What we have playing on the playlist is we have, who is this? So we got Jill Scott. This is called, let me show you. This is called Slowly Surely. So Spirit is telling you take your time to get it right. You know, Slowly Surely, that's really about, you know, you, you don't want to rush into situations. The Hermit is very, very, um, you know, very much a wizard. So he knows that he has to be very... Uh, um, contemplative, you know, so you may want to take that time to meditate, to get those things straight, to get those things sorted out that may be happening within your own mind. On the bottom of the numerology deck, we have 44 environment. So this could really be about something you're working very studiously on or very, very, um, uh, very diligently, not studiously, but you're in a studious energy working diligently on that, that particular task. This environment gives me like the, the eight of pentacles. Um, so this also could be like, you know, you working very hard on certain goals on certain, um, perhaps certain dreams or maybe a business, or maybe you're pursuing, uh, a different area, um, in your life, maybe a different career, um, choice and so you you could be studying you could be researching you could be doing your due diligence to learn as much as you can about that particular area uh, maybe there's a sense of like just really um, you know taking that time to to reflect to assess what it is you want so you could really be in a in a, a, a mode of just moving away from things that no longer serve you because uh, I'm getting like the eight of cups as well um, loving yourself enough to know that you you have to move on um, you know with slowly surely maybe things were moving along very slowly uh, in the past maybe there was in a sense of you know um, maybe there wasn't enough uh, um, there wasn't enough to sustain you or to keep you there, to keep you interested. Maybe there's something within a job, you know, you're, maybe you're learning that your heart is somewhere else when it comes to, uh, your work. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's your energy and whatever you're attracting to you mirroring one another. So some of you all could be attracting something that you're very much, uh, passionate about something that could be like a dream, um, you know, a dream come true or something you're really uh, feeling is destined for you. Maybe you're manifesting and wishing upon a star, praying for something uh, particular. Um, but I do feel like Spirit is saying whatever this is, um, it's going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of uh, emotional fulfillment, a lot of happiness. Uh, but it's also going to make you feel, um, you're going to feel like your dreams have come true. You're going to feel like something uh, you know, is is really working out in your favor here. Uh, because I do feel like there's been a sense of you being very determined on this pursuit 
of whatever this is. Um, this could literally be speaking to you not even realizing how close this wish fulfillment is or realizing how close uh, this blessing is. And it's like right here. Uh, I see this eight that always gives me like the uh, star energy. Um, so it's almost like, you know, your hard work, I feel, is paying off. You're being rewarded or recognized. Um, look at that. There goes that 81 nine. That's another nine. So you've definitely been very determined and very uh, focused on your pursuit of perhaps your um, your independence, your stability, your security, even your happiness. Because that four deals with the heart chakra as well. And four really is about, you know, emotional intelligence. Um, as I said, being very, very self-disciplined, uh, which encompasses everything. Self-love, self-worth, self-value. So I do feel like something within your environment, you all have learned some very valuable lessons. Um, maybe to pursue things that make you happy. Um, to, you know, perhaps leave... Um, leave things that no longer serve your highest good because I was also getting like that eight of cups it's about you know in this stage in this junction of your life it's like you're doing what feels right and sits right in your spirit um, where what you feel called to do what you feel uh, inspired to do motivated to do encouraged to do so that's beautiful and I feel like you know when you do uh, make that initial um, you know, step or take, I should say, that initial step, um, you're stepping in the right direction because you're trusting your own, you're trusting your own um, judgment. You know, this is you being that boss, making those boss decisions, um, being very, you know, um, matter of fact about what you want and unapologetic at the same time. But this is really about determination and drive and, and going towards what you want um being very very vocal in that regard so we have who is this so we have um wu-tang can it all be so simple so can it all be so simple so yeah like it's like you know i don't feel like things were simple i feel like you know for you to get to this space where you're now a boss and a leader um it wasn't simple you know it was a process but now you're here at this point where you are feeling like you know there is some sort of um you're getting you know paid for your hard work you're getting acknowledged you're getting rewarded um, things are going to start, you know, turning around, if you will. So this is beautiful. So let's tap in, beloveds. But it's only if you dedicate that time and that energy. You know, like, whatever your habits are, that's what's going to determine whether or not you are successful. So if you have bad habits and all you do is sit around and watch, you know, like, reality TV all day and you don't utilize any of your time to to nurture your own gifts or to identify with what you are passionate with or about then i'm not necessarily speaking to you i'm speaking to those of you that have been doing this work you know who you are you know so let's tap in beloveds let's see nothing's been simple you know nothing has been simple you know and that's 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 to be expected but that's also to be respected is that you didn't get anything easy it's like you you worked very hard that's why i was getting the eight of pentacles with that 44 uh environment it's like you really worked hard you were very very focused and you had your eyes on the prize and you also had the eye of the tiger some of you could have been born in the year of the tiger um you know chinese zodiac year of the tiger 74 is one of the years um but i just feel like this this very determined energy especially with that leadership you've learned to take the reins take control of your lives and now you're like powering forward so that's positive that's powerful so divine spirit of love and light what's coming in for my beautiful beautiful scorpios what messages do you have for my beautiful scorpios Maybe get a message of love and a message of light spirit so what messages we have for my beautiful scorpios bottom of the deck so it says um, relationship change, and that's the number 56. 56 reduces to um, 11, which reduces to 2. So I do feel like, you know, maybe this is what triggered some sort of change. This is what perhaps, you know, this was an obstacle or there was some sort of decision to walk away. Or there could be, um, as I said, there could be, you know, a job of some sort. 
um, that you could be walking away from because it doesn't bring you happiness. It doesn't bring you joy. Some of you all are trusting your intuition when it comes to this uh, because you know that something just isn't serving your highest good. With Can it all be so simple? Maybe you're looking at things saying, dang, this is not going to be easy. Leaving a job. Maybe some of you have been there for 11 years, been at your career, in your careers for 11 years, um, and you just feel like you put so much time and energy into it, and now you're, you're you know, transitioning or thinking about transitioning into a whole new career change. But I do feel like there's something positive that can um, develop from this. This is really why Spirit was saying that you have to really, you know, uh, meditate to get things straight so that you can make clear decisions. You don't want to think irrationally or move without, you know, structuring some sort of plan or strategizing a plan um, you want to assess the whole picture you want to assess the whole situation so you have to see yourself um, where it is you desire you desire to be and you have to set the plan in motion in that regard you have to weigh in the pros and the cons got to dot your eyes and cross your t's so this whatever this is spirit is telling you trust your intuition um, this 11 breaks down to two uh, so 11 is really like you know that that meditative energy where you're getting the divine interventions and downloads from spirit because that's like that portal that opens up so be open be receptive for the messages but also so you have to be um, balanced or grounded enough to be able to receive those downloads. So that 56 breaks down to 2, 2 is the high priestess. So this is about like, you know, being able, like I said, to use your own intuition to see what can be around the corner, um, you know, because that's what your intuition is about don't just jump the gun and go according to what somebody in some tarot reading said like yeah leave your job it's going to be amazing no this is where intuition falls into play so there's a relationship change uh make sure you're the one that is um initiating this relationship change um i do feel like you're making some sort of decision you know there's a choice or a decision and um it can lead to, you know, because I do feel like with this, this blue, you know, because this is blue, the throat chakra, and then that six is, is um, your first eye. So it's like, you know, trust your own intuition and speak from the heart. Speak, speak your truth. Open up your throat chakra. Express what you need. Um, you know, maybe that's what you all need to do at your current roles or in your current positions is, is, is speak what you need. If you need a raise, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't be bashful to let your supervisor know what you need because closed mouths will not get fed. They don't get fed. Um, and if you allow people to take you, um, you know, take you for granted, um, they will. And if you don't know your own worth, then they're not going to definitely not going to um, come to you and, and say, hey, we think we want to give you a raise because you're working hard. No, they're just going to keep underpaying you because you're not saying anything. So for some of you, spirit is saying, open up your throat chakra. Uh, for others of you, be mindful of how you communicate. You know, be mindful of your tone. Be mindful of the way that you um, express things because there are people who can misinterpret um, your passion for you know, being uh, cocky or being arrogant or, or being, um, you know, rude, you know, so just be mindful of that because this could lead to some sort of change, you know, something that you may not be expecting. We have 71 health. So there could be a lot of you who could be up in your head or whatever you're attracting to you. Um, someone could be in their head, like really stressing, agonizing, overthinking, overanalyzing, because this always reminds me of like the, um, the eight of swords and I just saw 49 49 and so that's eight that reduces to eight so that's just confirming this here so there's someone who could be really up in their head stressing over you thinking about you maybe this is someone who's been kind of like you know maybe if you all are in some sort of uh, I'm hearing toxic so if you are in a toxic work relationship or relationship per se um, even if it's a family dynamic um, I feel like some of you all have been stressing so much about this and spirit is telling you that it's time to to, um, to part ways because this eight and this two reduces to ten so there could be potentially some sort of ending something could be coming to a close um, we have Nas it says got yourself a gun and so with got yourself a gun um, don't let something stress you out to the point where you know you're like this is like suicidal ideation is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye 
So, you know, somebody could be really depressed and stressed out because of some sort of job, like maybe getting fired from a job or maybe, you know, the breakup of a relationship, the demise of a relationship, um, maybe a falling out with a family member, a loved one. Someone is really agonizing over this and stressing. This is like mental conflict. This is into minds, up in their head, overthinking, analyzing, over, just is like, this is really not a healthy place to be. And so there's definitely a need. What I see here is there is a happy ending right underneath that. So there is some sort of clarity that can come through. And remember what I was saying, like speak your truth, but be mindful of your tongue. Your tongue can be a weapon or it could be, it could be, um, um, it could be a weapon or it could be your protection. Um, cause you could speak, you know, protection over yourself. You could speak with love and light. Um, and it could be a weapon because you can, you could cast spells, words of spells, spells by, but you could also say things, uh, that are hurtful, you know, and some people are sensitive. So I do feel like, you know, maybe there were some words that someone could be stressing about, you know, somebody could have said some things that they now regret. Someone could be like in, up in their head, um, kind of like, this is self-imposed as well, but with got yourself a gun, you know, I'm getting, don't jump again, don't jump the gun. Maybe someone is like, you know, trying to like plan things out accordingly. Uh, so they're trying to be very strategic and they're stressing themselves out with how to, um, approach a situation. That's just what I'm getting as well. And we have ramp playing and this is called everybody loves the sunshine and so the sunshine represents you know truth and clarity vitality and strength um it's a food source for our energy for our cells um it's really just you know vitality in and of itself and so i do feel like whoever is in this space of mental conflict whoever is agonizing and pining and overthinking they will receive some sort of clarity um there will be some sort of truth that um that they will come into. It has been a journey because the name of this group is called Ramp. So I do feel like it's been an uphill battle. That's what I was hearing. And then I was also hearing um, with Nas has got yourself a gun. Like somebody, you know, doesn't want to jump the gun. Uh, and that could be another reason why they're like stressing over this. But let's tap in. Who is this that are beautiful Scorpios? Who or what is Scorpio attracting to them? They have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Divine spirit of love and light. Who or what is Scorpio attracting to them? They have a message of love and a message of light. Yeah, this is that person up in their head stressing. They don't have nothing to say right now. Or this could just be a certain situation that's kind of playing out. So these two cards, these three cards I'm going to take because they literally were just poking out. And we still got a happy ending here. So something can really, um, really have like some, you can really have some sort of um, positive outcome you know but it's really it's 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 destined i feel as well uh this change whatever this is this is something that i feel like you have prepared for uh because this three and this two from 56 is five and that's the number of the hierophant and the hierophant is again uh that energy of studentship you could have been learning uh, from a master teacher, you could have been researching, reading ancient tablets, and um, just reading doctrines, and reading information, researching, investigating, um, growing your wealth of knowledge, studying, um, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, and discovering your soul's purpose, mission, and passion. And that is putting you in a space where you are happier because you're following your dreams. You're following what is destined for you, opposed to just going with the flow and staying in a job or staying in a position or in a relationship or in a circumstance that doesn't serve your highest good. This is you walking away. And sometimes walking away and moving away from a situation brings that sense of peace um, because it's not so conflicting. So there's a happy ending perhaps in moving on. Like I said, that 44 was giving me like the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is always about like being selfish and loving yourself. Um, you know, enough to walk away or loving yourself enough to walk away because perhaps whoever you were dealing with was emotionally uh, bankrupt. They were leaving you emotionally bankrupt, just taking and taking and making all these withdrawals and never enough deposits. And so that could be the decision, you know, that, that, that obstacle that was in your way, you know, having to make that decision that was very difficult. If it was a, a toxic job, you know, having to choose between being jobless, unemployed, 
employed and paying your bills that's a very difficult decision to make so let's see what these cards are that chose themselves so the person you are um, or the circumstance that you're attracting to you this is about individuality so yeah this is about you learning that you have to spread your wings and fly beloved um, this is really about you realizing your own worth your own value your independence is the foundation for your happiness and your stability so there was a circumstance that opened up um, which led to a more stable circumstance. We got 1111 here. Some of you all may have a twin flame, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, your divine counterpart, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang that could be coming in. And this could also be, you know, the result of why this relationship changes here. I feel like with this person, this person has learned a tremendous um, amount of um, amount f about themselves in being alone they've taken the necessary time to be alone and for some of you all that was not necessarily a decision but you had to do so um with this relationship change and then individuality uh, i am all strongly feeling like you and someone are mirroring one another here uh to the point where you know there's this this new this newfound um respect um, and also this 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 understanding of what your 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 love language is of what your what you desire what you may require perhaps even in your connections even if it's not a love connection but what you may require in a work dynamic um, the type of people you want to work around you want to be around people who are not just about numbers and micromanagers you want to be around people where it's more of a family feel where people are human um, down to earth where you could speak to them. Um, and so maybe you're re, uh, you know, reassessing uh, what it is you're calling in. Maybe the way that you're manifesting is changing. But whatever it is, I feel like this is something that is coming to you uh, as well. With this portal opened, I do feel like there's um, some sort of opportunity where you and someone are mirroring one another and choosing, you know, choosing the other. Um, this could be someone choosing you for a new position. Uh, but also this is both of you being very in tune and tapped in and connected on a more deeper level, very intuitive, very discerning. Um, we have, um, we have DMX, this is called slipping, you know, so maybe with slipping, I do feel like, you know, maybe someone, um, kind of slipped, uh, you know, out of, um, you know, out of the, kind of, kind of lost their way is what I'm getting. Because when you slip, you kind of lose balance, you know, you, you kind of fall. So I just feel like somebody kind of, you know, had to learn uh, from perhaps a codependent relationship. Um, you know, they had to learn some valuable lessons, uh, karmic lessons in that. And in that, um, whatever that dynamic was, they've realized, you know, the importance of not losing oneself, you know, not letting um, who you are, you know, slip away, um, not just completely um, disregarding, you know, what you love, what you like. Um, even your independence, you know, there's certain things that even if you're in a relationship um, that you should have that are sacred to you, that are independent of you, um, you know, sharing with, with the whole family. Like there's certain things you may like to do, little routines or rituals that you should hold dear to yourself just so that you can show yourself that love. So, for instance, if you were always used to going, um, you know, on a routine and, and just, you know treating yourself to a nice massage uh, when you get in a relationship that shouldn't change uh, because you expect your your beloved to do that or you know that shouldn't change because oh well you know now I gotta give all my time and attention to everyone else no it's like it's still about self-love it's still about you know that independence because that's a foundation for your happiness that's a foundation for um, just your overall contentment you know so we have how they feel about you as rebirth um, and this is not just how someone may feel about you. This could just be how, you know, others perceive you, period. It's just like you've gone through some sort of renewal. Uh, this is really about a transformation. You've emerged someone completely different. Uh, you've grown personally, spiritually, mentally, uh, emotionally. Um, and you're more confident, more assertive, uh, as I said. And this is because you've taken that necessary time to work on yourself. And so now there's this very strong uh, spiritual you know, um, 
presence, spiritual strength that you may, you know, exude or embody uh, that's really attractive, you know, because with this two and two, that's four. So that four is showing that someone is really, you know, perhaps there's some sort of um, circumstance that's going to bring a lot of of love, a lot of laughter, a lot of happiness. Um, you're going to feel elated, whatever this is, because uh, this two and two is like you had to make some sort of change, or you had to have some sort of um, some sort of completion. Some cycle had to wrap up. Uh, you had to come full circle with uh, maybe a relationship, maybe a job, maybe a particular um, connection, in order to be able to. Uh, have this this transformation um, rebirth is you know reincarnating as someone completely different um, it's the death of the old you know the death of the old whether that be ideologies belief systems death of old ways of thinking and being and doing um, old ways of showing up in your relationships just just getting rid of all of that and moving forward with a whole new um, whole new energy you know this is really like that phoenix rising from the ashes but it's also giving that energy of uh power you know of being very very balanced you know very grounded it's very important to have that balance you know scorpios could be in la la land sometimes with all the emotions so you need uh to be able to you know ground that energy uh, it's very important, you know, even when you get too spiritual, you got to balance spirituality as well as practicality. So I do feel like there's a very strong sense of really just working on the self. This this seven and this four still reduces to 11. Um, so I feel very much that you all uh, ought to listen to your intuition more. And as I was speaking earlier in the beginning of the reading, um, it's very critical to give yourself time to hear your own thoughts. Um, sometimes you got to turn off the noise. You got to just go take a walk. Um, I don't care if you have family or children that live in the household with you. Like, just go take a nature walk. If you can't take a nature walk, go in the bathroom. You know, the bathroom is that one spot where you could have a little privacy. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you just go in there and turn your meditation music on and, um, you know, and just have that private time. Uh, just to clear your head, just to get that time uh, to yourself so you could hear your own thoughts. Being in the water is also very, um, very healing, very soothing, um, and it allows you to purge. So take natural, you know, take, um, you know, like I, if I was y'all, I would take, you know, because we got four weeks in a month, I would take a spiritual bath at least once a week, you know, every month. Because, you know, if, especially if you're out in public a lot if you're around people a lot you know energy attaches itself it's transferable and so you know you don't know how much you're you're bringing into your home um even your children you know make them take those spiritual baths as well everybody can really um have those those negative um energies attach themselves to you and so it's really important to do that you know saging and smudging your home is one thing but you also need to be sure to to perform you know their spiritual baths um, on a more routine basic, um, basis. So we have, um, this is CASA overall, and this is called prison and uh, pharmaceuticals. So that's a very interesting uh, combination, but um, this could also just be speaking to, you know, addiction. You know, um, we saw that Eight of Swords, so that could really just be like, you know, someone who's just constantly in their head. Having these, these constant thoughts is very like, you know, it's it's self-sabotage, you know, uh, maybe someone is using some sort of narcotic uh, to get by. Maybe someone is is really under a lot of stress and pressure and um, it's from some sort of um, change, you know, something that has changed. I feel with individuality, there's a disconnect and relationship change. There could have been a breakup, uh, whether this is in a work relationship, a family dynamic, a love ship. There was something that ended, but this is all, it's all by design because look at this rebirth here. You know, this rebirth is, is really showing um, that this was, it was destined to happen because with, with 
whatever you were still clinging to or holding on to, um, this renewal couldn't take place. So we got this happy ending here on the bottom of the deck. So that's, we're about to pull the card for what's hidden. So you don't even realize, like, when you take the leap, you don't know where you'll land, you know? And it's really about just walking by faith and not by sight. You know, sometimes you may not see what's on the other side, and that's by design. Spirit doesn't want you to always see. It wants you to trust the process. And so when you trust the process, that means you have to trust your intuition. And so in order to be able to develop that type of, um, that type of, of, of connection with your, your higher self, um, you got to turn off the noise of everybody else, all the chatter of the outside world, all the readings, me, uh, your family, everybody else, and got to connect. You got to get into that meditative state so that you can contemplate your next move, so that you could strategize and utilize your own intuition because there's obviously change that is necessary. Nine was the number that was on the clock when we first opened up the reading, and that's all about that introspective work. The hermit really takes the time to be away from the noise, away Away from all of the the unsolicited advice and all of that to to really go within to delve and dive deeper within you know what I'm talking about so let's tap in beloved so uh, what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios they have the message of love and a message of light spirit what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios may have a message of love and a message of light my spirit what's hidden in the energy thank you spirit we have on the bottom of the deck, we have compassion. So no judgment. Compassion is no judgment. Compassion is forgiveness. And we all know forgiveness is for you. It's not for anybody else. So in order for you to be able to move out here, uh, you know, freely and, 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 and be blissed, you know, you have to be able to to forgive. You you can't be out here casting judgment on other people, even yourself, on even your past, whatever took place. It's like really just just letting it go, letting it flow, beloved. You gotta just let it go and let it flow. We got 74 nature, and I did mention some of you all could have been born in 1974. I hear the sirens going off yet again. You know, so it's, this is really, you know, what I'm hearing is definitely step outside of nature. This is another 11. So you got 11, 11 and 11 here all right so all together this is nine and that's the number that we started off with so i do feel like spirit is saying some of you all have a very natural gift and you need to take it back to um the essence you know take the take it back to the essence of who you are um some of you all may have lost your way just as i was feeling initially and so you could have got caught up in the routine of being you know the head of household uh the maternal or the paternal figure for that matter and so those roles are very very um you know it requires a lot it's very demanding uh so there could have been a lot of 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 just time and energy uh invested in everything except for yourself and i feel strongly like spirit is saying um it's time to get back to one um, it's time for you to really, uh, you know, take those those internal self audits, go within. Uh, a nature walk is overdue for some of you all. You need to get outside. But I also feel like you'll receive some downloads. You'll receive some sort of divine messages from spirit. Um, spirit is trying to communicate with you all. And I feel like many of you may uh, see some sort of animal totem, totem, or you may have some sort of very beautiful experience out there. Um, and that will be confirmation. That will be like that, that, that download uh, that spirit was disseminating to you in that moment. But um, I'd also feel with the 74, as I said, some of you all could have been born in 1974. I'm seeing some of you are November, um, November Scorpios, you were born on 11 11. Um, you could have been born on 11 4. Some of you all could have been born on 11 16. Um, some of you all could have been born um, on October uh, 25th. Um, you could have been born on October, um, let me see, October 25th. That's what I'm getting, but you you already know. You, if you Scorpio, you're here. If the message is resonated, I don't have to get point out all the solar returns. But yeah, th there's definitely this feeling also like like trust your intuition. Um, don't let anything cloud your vision. Like some of you all got too much 
radiation going on in the household. I'm hearing like radiation. I'm hearing the term radiation. And radiation is literally the phones, the laptops, the microwave, um, the refrigerator. All these things emit radiation. And so if you're not using your microwaves, like I don't use my microwave. I literally unplugged it. So it's like decrease the radiation in the household. That's why they're telling you go out in nature, you know, because it, it's a good way to, to, to like to ground yourselves um if it's not too cold where you are like spirit is showing me like like really plant your feet in the earth and ground yourself you will feel so recharged like um there are times like you know some people like if you have a job where you're on your feet all the time i always encourage people like my cousin came to visit me one time and she was like dang my feet hurt and I was like, take your shoes off. We went for like a nice little walk in the neighborhood. And I said, take your feet, you know, take, it was summertime. And I said, take your shoes off, you know, take your shoes off and let's walk, you know. And she was like, what? And she took her shoes off. And I guarantee you, by the time we got to my house, she was like, do you know my feet are? And I was like, I know, <laughs> you know, because the soles of the shoes, you know, they, they really block your ability to 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 ground yourselves and release some of that 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 energy that you're carrying around so some of you all may need to do that you know um, just ground yourselves even if it's just for a few minutes just sit outside if you are blissed enough to have like a backyard um definitely do that you know just take that time to just ground yourself um if you don't have that opportunity just go sit by a body of water um even if it's cold look just just you know bundle up beloved but it, it, spirit is calling for you you know to go out in nature i also feel like there's some sort of connection uh because i'm getting like the two of cups from this as well like someone that you have a very natural chemistry synergy um you know dynamic with is is also coming into uh the picture um and i feel like you two are like minds this could be someone that could potentially be like a wish fulfillment or someone that may see you as such um but i also am getting strong uh energy of like you know i'm getting like the two of cups where there's going to be like an equal exchange of give and take this is someone that's really like your it's it's like twinning it's like they think the same um they are into the same things they're spiritual they're they're intuitive they're down to earth they could be into metaphysics or the occult esoteric um, but this is someone that I feel like you'll have like that, that dope dynamic with, um, even if this is like a business partner as well. Um, so what we have right now is we have Jaheen and this is called age ain't nothing but a number. Ja uh, oh, age ain't a factor. So for some of you ladies out there and gents out there that think like you're too old for love, like spirit is saying, that's not even a factor. Like nobody's too old to find anything. You are what you say you are. So if you think you too old for, for love, then beloveds, then, you know, the spirit universe is just going to send you what you already saying, you know, whatever you're sending out into the ethers. Remember your words are spells, spells bond. So you're casting your own spells on yourself if that is your sentiment. But spirit is saying for some of you all, um, you know, who may feel like, you know, you've been alone for a certain amount of time. Maybe some of you all have been, you know, single for 11 years. Like, you don't even know. Maybe some of y'all are 74 years old and you don't realize like, yo, there, there, there's love that could that could still um, develop here. If you are open to it, if you are not, then you needn't even respond. Like, it's this is obviously not a message for you. So be be forgiving of yourselves be loving and open to others, you know, judge not, judge ye not, you know what I'm talking about, so let's, let's see what the outcome is for Scorpio, get a message of love and light, what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios, may have a message of love and a message of light, this was a beautiful video, I loved it, because Jaheen literally had all these beautiful, you know, um, you know, older woman, you know, cast in this video, which is unheard of because everybody always wants like, you know, they want like the little young things. And he just had all these beautiful, mature ladies. Okay, so we have 81 leadership here. So look at that. That's that bossing up energy. That's that, you know, taking the reins and moving in the direction you desire. Uh, that's that willpower. That's determination and drive. Moving with vigor, moving with force. Um, just very action oriented, like action oriented. And we have 
46 domestic harmony. So you're absolutely going to uh, find, you know, this this very uh, sacred, you know, space. You're you're holding a sacred space, you know, on your own. But I feel whoever you allow to enter, they're coming in to accentuate that uh, because you are holding on your own. You know, this is beautiful energy that I'm picking up on, and this is when you know who you are. You don't settle for less. You don't. You don't. Uh, you don't um, shy away from what you know you deserve, whether that be in your business, whether that be in your career, whether that be in love, whether that be in your friendships, your your relationships, period. It's like you you are commanding um, exactly what you know you deserve. And with this this domestic harmony, I, I completely feel totally elation, um, joy. We saw that happy ending. And remember what I said, when you go out and take those nature walks, you may have synchronized events take place. You know, you may see three cardinals on your walk. You know, um, you may see, you know, some license plate that passes by that has 777, 1111, 444, whatever the case. You may walk by a home that has those uh, numbers, but it's like there's going to be some sort of synchronized event. This also could be speaking to someone that you have obviously... Um, again, that very spiritual connection with, uh, you both are be going to be on the same page. Um, and this could be someone, uh, that you could go into business with. Some of you all are going to have your own business. Maybe you're getting signs that it's time, like I said, to leave that old job, that old career and, and pursue, um, what you are really, um, passionate about. You know, it's time for you to follow your dreams and to not just, um, you know, to just let life pass you by, you know, some of you all spirit is showing you sign after sign after sign. And this is just another confirmation. Some of you all are, you know, exactly what I'm speaking of. If you look at these cards, the colors are completely intertwined. This is 78 and 87. So this is the same card flipped. So there's purple on the inside of this Kabbalah symbol. And then, or how do you say that? Is it even a Kabbalah? I don't know why I said Kabbalah. Maybe some of you all are into Kabbalah, but there's a uh, purple on the inside of this symbol and then there's pink and then there's pink on the inside of this and then there's purple. So it's like literally the numbers are intertwined. So you're mirroring someone and I feel like whoever this person is or whatever this circumstance is, it's like you've, you've manifested this. I get a strong sense of you setting the intention because you are now in your power and that's why spirit is telling you trust your intuition and use your own discernment. Don't let anybody speak you into doing things don't let anybody talk you out of doing things go within you know seek counsel within you know seek higher wisdom and counsel from within and that is through look at this I didn't even see this I can't make this up I cannot make this up 22 intuition so spirit is true strongly encouraging you all to really meditate to get something straight because I feel like your career there's there's something changing with your career there's something changing within the direction your life is going and I feel like that's strongly why some of you all could have been um, perhaps you know you you went through uh, maybe a breakup a separation maybe you know like I said some of you are second-guessing your job where you currently are maybe you were recently let go maybe you were recently um, you know, um, laid off. And so now it's like, you're really trying to, uh, figure out the next steps. And spirit is saying that whatever you're doing, it is going to lead to a happy ending, but you have to trust your intuition and trust this process. We have earth, wind and fire, and it's keep your head to the sky. So don't give up because remember we had got yourself a gun and I was feeling like some, someone was suicidal. Um, I was picking up suicidal ideation and that's someone who's like, you know, you could be thinking about it, fantasizing about it. Somebody could be watching videos on suicide, like stop, don't go there. It gets better. You know, it gets greater later. If you're going through something, you keep going. You don't stop and mope and whine and self-loathe and wither. You call, ask for help. You seek out, you know, for, um, there's all kinds of, uh, 
hotlines that you could call when you're feeling pressured. If you do still have um, your job, they have an EAP program where you could speak to counselors in real time and you're, it's on your job's dime. If you don't have that, they have actual suicide hotlines. You know, you could call 311 in your location or 411 in your location to get those numbers, but there's always someone to speak to. You know, if you need to speak to me, reach out to me via email. It is down in my um, description box or in my about section in my channel but speak to someone you know let someone talk you off the ledge because that is not your higher self your higher self would never do that that's the devil himself the devil the mind is the devil's playground so when you're doing too much overthinking you can start thinking the worst and and that's what you know the devil does have you going around and around in circles and you'll circle right back to you know the problem um we was even hearing with that song by Casa overall, it said um, prisons and pharmaceuticals. So some of you could have done some time, like some really serious time in perhaps, you know, um, I'm hearing, um, oh man, uh, you know how they have um, in a max prison. So some of you could have been like in, uh, dang, they be, um, sometimes they'll put prisoners like in isolation. They'll put them on lockdown. And lockdown don't just be for a couple of hours a day. It'd be like 30 days, 60 days, a year, two, two years. They'd just be in a room by themselves, no um, human contact. And to think of what that does psychologically to a person. So someone could really be going through those type of emotions where they really struggled a lot in their lives. And, um, you know, they're really just trying to find their way. So I'm sending you love and light, peace, power, and protection, beloveds. Um, just keep going, you know, with, I can't go for that by hauling oats, you know, don't go for the okie doke. Don't let the, 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 the devil lie to you. You know, the devil is a trickster. The devil tries to steal your joy, your pride, your happiness. Um, remember, take up, take yourselves out in nature. Um, go outside in nature. You know, there's messages, there's downloads, you know, there's confirmations, things you may be looking for are right outside your door. You got to get out of the you know the your household you got to get from the four walls open up your windows because i got a sense like some of y'all got live like in a room like in a house an apartment that's dark you know you may have like dark furniture black furniture leather furniture black everything and there's nothing wrong with black but you know negative low vibrational energies love the darkness that's where they they fester that's where they simmer and that's where they chill at so if you have a house that is dark you don't get much sunlight do whatever you can to open up your blinds, open up your windows to let light in. I'm hearing some of y'all may live in a basement apartment, so your lights are very limited. So in that case, open up whatever windows you have and burn your sage. Open up the front door. Let that energy out. Do this frequently. Burn, you know, um, also mop your floors with like ammonia. Um, get some Florida water. Wipe your walls, your window seals, your doors down. Um, do this frequently just to keep the energy um, light. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and, 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 and and set up like an altar, dedicate time to connect with your angels, ancestors, and whichever one of those deities um, you feel that connection and bond with, set up an altar space for that deity, for that ancestor, for that um, god or goddess, and you know, have that connection, develop that connection um, so that your household can be protected because they are truly, you know, there to protect and guide you as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of messages coming out for y'all, beloveds. A lot of messages. All right. So let's tap in. Let's see what else we got. We're going to get some messages from Moonology being that we're still under this Leo full moon, beloveds. And where I can't go for that, don't fall for the okie doke. Remember, the devil speaks with a forked tongue. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He's a trickster. You know what I'm talking about? And he will definitely tell you some things that are untrue. That is very much why I've been stressing the word intuition throughout this whole reading. Because you have to be connected enough to know what are your thoughts aside from what is some psychic attack. You know, some something that's not from you. Like I said, things attach to you. You know, spirits will attach themselves to you, especially if your defenses are down. So that's why it's another um, reason why you should wear like, you know, amulets and protective jewelry and oils. Anoint yourself before you go outside. In some cases, you may need to like, you know, uh, cover up your hair if you have long hair or locks. You know, that's important as well. Um, but there's so many 
different ways that you can protect yourself. So we have on the bottom of the death is, uh, I said death, wow, death, and this rebirth. So that maybe some of you all, this they, there could potentially be some sort of untimely death is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Maybe someone lost someone untimely and that's why there's this feeling of anguish and emotional loss. Someone could have just lost like a, a maternal figure. I'm seeing like a grandmother in a bed. I'm also seeing like a young person, like a young man, you know, someone that um, you were very close to. Maybe this is someone that passed away years ago, like a sibling, you know, a masculine energy or a maternal energy, like a grandmother, a mother even. If she was um, an older woman, I'm seeing. Oh, wow. But we have emotions are running high on the bottom of the deck here. And then we have on the split, nothing will come of this situation. So we're about to pull the card for relationship change. So for some of you all, this was the, in fact that decision you had to make to leave a situation behind that you finally, you know, trusted your intuition to see that nothing was going to come of that situation. This 11 is the same as, remember, we had this 22, which is still two. So maybe this is a decision you made about a job. Maybe this is a decision you made about a person. Uh, but you trusted your intuition to leave something behind that you knew intuitively wasn't going to work out in your favor, as you can see here. And this is um, super moon. And then we have void of course moon. So I feel like, you know, there was a situation uh, that could have happened where um, there was no emotion. Like you felt like. Uh, there was no respect. There was no reciprocity. If this was a relationship uh, or a love ship, I should say, just to distinguish between relationship, which is work relationship, friendships, or it could have been like, you know, a love ship where there was someone who was just devoid of emotion. It was like pulling teeth. It was just not reciprocal. Um, there was an, an equal exchange of give and take. It was just take, 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 take from you. Um, or this could have been a, a, a job in your career. That's what you felt like you was working overtime, anytime, full time, all this time and didn't have much to show for it or you didn't feel valued or you didn't feel appreciated. You felt like you were being underpaid um, with emotions of running high. You're getting tired. And that's why this 56 relationship change, you're making a decision to leave. This is like an obstacle for you. So you're finally making that decision to move on to that 56 that reduces to 11, which is two. That's you choosing your new course of action, moving on to something better, leaving someone or something behind that no longer serves your highest good because you have sat with it long enough emotions running high uh that could be just you you know getting to the point where you were so frustrated you could have um you could have confronted someone. Um, that's why I was picking up earlier, like, you know, just be mindful of your tongue, uh, you know, because you could get explosive. We got the uh, Crusaders and this is called Street Life. Yeah. So, you know, some of y'all could have got real hood on that ass. Y'all could have got like, you know, really upset because somebody was constantly out in the street, never home, never committed, always kind of like, you know, in and out, flighty, non-committal. You got tired of that. You know, that was something that you just got tired of. Maybe some of you all exploded. I'm hearing that Dr. Dre Snoop Dogg um, song, Explosive, West Coast. Yeah. Like, that's what I was hearing. Like, some of y'all exploded. Like, it was just tick, tick, tick. And it was just like somebody just got pushing the button and pushing the button, you know, and then you just exploded. But with the Crusaders, I feel like now you're on a new voyage. You're on this new journey, like I said, to, to follow what is... Um, what is passion what you're passionate about you know because that too is the sacral chakra so that's really about moving to the beat of your drum as well um and so i do feel strongly like that's what you're doing so we do got a runaway card here and this is going to be clarifying the relationship change for the overall energy and it says the answers you need are coming so whatever it is you've been like you know, questioning or whatever it is that you've been like really confused about or conflicted about. I feel like you do get that epiphany or you do have that um, that moment of clarity and you'll be able to make your decision uh, with a clear mind with full moon that Gemini. That's that dual energy that I was picking up with this number two because that's about duality. It's dualistic, you know, so this is like being, you know, in, in, in both brains, the left and the right, you know, in two minds kind of. 
you know, so that's that's you kind of moving away with the Crusaders. I said the Crusaders, the Crusaders um, and street life. I, I just feel like, you know, you're moving away, making a, a very, um, very clear decision to leave something that does not um, speak to your spirit or doesn't really uh, speak to where you see yourself. It doesn't satisfy you. It doesn't excite you. It doesn't really, you know, it, it just doesn't resonate with you anymore. So I do feel like, you know, you receive that, 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 that moment of clarity. There's an epiphany here. So we have a fiery climax approaches and this is a full moon in Aries and we're about to clarify individuality. So with this fiery uh, climax. There's definitely like you're being very headstrong or someone is is, is really um, making a decision. You could have been dealing with someone that could have been hard-headed um, or this could just be something that really uh, it explodes, you know, because Aries is uh, ruled by Mars. Mars is all about war. Um, it's about, you know, conflict and fighting and death and, and pain and hurt and in, inner injuries. And so, you know, there was something um, that was unfolding within this dynamic that caused a lot of pain. It was constant conflict, constant you you up they down it's red they blue it's like there's there's no there's never any like on the you're never on the same page or wavelength with this person there's always some sort of competitive energy or some conflict and so i feel like i said like you know something could have ended in uh, a very explosive ar argument with a fiery climax um approaches um, this also could be saying that someone that you have a lot of passion, um, traction, um, you know, desire and fire for could be entering the scene. We have um, Janet Jackson, Funny How Time Flies, uh, playing. So this could be potentially someone you have not seen in a long time. Or this could just be saying that, you know, it's been a long time uh, since you have um, felt free, you know, because Aries is really, they move to the beat of their drum. They like things their way. They're very headstrong. Uh, you know, this is the ram. You know, the ram rules the, 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 the head, you know. So this is someone that could have been very headstrong or this is someone that was really... Um, all about themselves you know not really uh, about the, the 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 whole not really about the the community but really all about self um you know maybe this is someone that does um assess themselves you know and realizes like you know their independence as i said is the foundation for their happiness so they could be leaving something uh that could have been very um chaotic very uh toxic uh, to to come into some sort of renewal, you know, or, or a new perspective, if you will. But let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. So what is this energy that our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? Who or what is this energy? Why is individuality here for my beautiful Scorpios and who or what they're attracting? Thank you, Spirit. We have communication is key. So expect communication. I was picking up that somebody really their throat chakra, you know, I was picking up that throat chakra with this 56, you know, um, and just being mindful, you know, of the way that you uh, convey your messages, the way that you express yourselves, um, you know, someone not wanting to misinterpret. This could be someone else who also could have been very, like, harsh, brash, um, you know, just just like, you know, they just kind of vomited whatever they felt. But we have on the um, what flew out is emotions are running high. We just saw that. So emotions are running high. So there is a sense that someone is really starting to feel, you know, I'm getting a sense that someone was really so stubborn for so long. It's almost like they're having some sort of ego death. They're putting their side, their pride aside and they're now able to feel, you know, their heart. It's almost like I'm, I'm hearing thaw, thawing out. It's like their their cold heart has been thawed almost. And this 5611 and this 11, that's 1111. So there's almost a sense like, you know, freeing yourselves. Like you and whoever you were with were in connections or toxic relationships, mindsets, belief systems, um, and needed to heal, needed to learn, you know, from those experiences. And someone is is really awakening. Uh, to their feelings, you know, with the super moon, it's like maybe they're having some sort of really um, 
profound, uh, you know, um, revelation, you know, that this connection, something that they may feel or share with you energetically, you know, synergetically or even chemistry wise is like, it's very profound and someone's emotions are running high. This 11 and this 11 reduces to four. So four is all about the heart chakra. So someone's finally opening up and thawing out that heart chakra. We got Rel featuring Jay-Z and this is called Love for Free. So this could have been someone who was really just out there, you know, kind of like I'm hearing aiming the please, like just, you know, all about like just being very like free. How do you say free, free, uh, a free spirit, so to speak, intimately, like just kind of like giving it up, giving up the goods. Um, but there was never any emotion, you know, it was just cocky. It was just like. I could get that, I could pull that, you know, or it was just the feminine energy who just thought that like, you know, their looks just meant, you know, they could just get whatever they want with their looks, you know, and, and when you live in such a, a superficial, when you live that superficial existence, it's like, you, you don't have feelings, you, you almost are devoid of emotion and feelings because you, you're not allowing yourself to, to um, open up and be vulnerable because you know it's it's really a facade nobody can really just be out here moving um heartless without it catching up to them or without them getting caught up you know and so i feel like somebody could have got caught up uh you know maybe there was some codependency um you know whether that codependency was another person um was a sexual addiction a love you know some sort of sexual addiction or uh incubus succubus or a drug addiction to numb whatever feelings they were trying to suppress or ignore or deny it's like now these emotions are running high enough within their their being where it's starting to kind of like it, it, it's surfacing it's it's unearthing within them it, whatever was lying dormant and it's revealing a lot because now their intuition is telling them like yo you you actually do have feelings you actually do have a heart you know what i'm talking about so we have communication is key so now this person may be trying to figure out like dang you know um what do i say you know um even if this isn't a person in love maybe if this is perhaps you know some of you all who are approaching uh, a new career choice it's like you're expressing what you need now from this different vantage point from this different uh, perspective or this different persona not even a persona because this is the new and improved you so this is that person that's more confident this is that person that's that's more assertive you know that that's that's a leader that's a boss that goes after what they want so if this is potentially like someone calling you for a job interview or someone interested in doing business or you know partnering up with you it's like state what you need state the facts you know don't try to fluff things up and make it sound you know greater um than it is like speak exactly what you need because that's what you're gonna get it's almost like you know you're you're you're, you're manifesting what you want but you have to be very very um you have to be um uh what's the word i'm looking for beloved You have to be very uh, matter of fact. I guess that's just what I'm, I'm going to say. It'll come to me later. But yeah, so there's some sort of communication. And I, I feel it's, it's, it's communication coming because of a transforming, uh, you know, this transformation because of the shift that you have made. Um, we have Prince Marky D. This is called Soul Connection. Some of y'all, you have a, 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 oh man, I just hit the back button. My bad. So Prince Marky D. Soul Connection. So some of you all rising power to that king. So there is, um, you know, a beautiful soul connection. And this is something that I feel is like um, spirit is saying this is like almost like reconciliation uh, with 1111 on the board already. Um, I'm just strongly feeling like some of you all are coming back into union with someone from your past. So we got 1111. That's four, seven, that's 11, 11 and um, 11. Again, that's four, four and nine. Um, that's four four and one so that's five so something is definitely changing and i do feel like it may lead to some sort of 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 um commitment engagement um taking things to the next level like a connection this could even be business partnership 
you know, uh, you know, someone that you could go into business with because we did see spiritual career. So you may meet someone um, that's on the same wavelength and vibration as you that have similar interests and you both may go into business together and, uh, you know, a, a very uh, strong bond. Uh, you know, you may cultivate a very strong bond and connection with this person. Um, but I do feel like, you know, communication uh, is absolutely coming in. Someone's desiring to communicate. Why is the 16 rebirth here for who Scorpio is attracting to them? Who or what Scorpio is attracting to them? And we have your dream, dreams need a practical plan. And this is, we're about to pull what's um, hidden. So we have believe in the impossible. So definitely this was your energy. This was your vibration. Like you didn't just, you know, go through what you went through. You grew through it. You know, you saw, you know, the possibilities um, on the other side, on the flip side of things. You didn't just allow how things appeared to discourage you from, you know, doing your necessary work, from healing. Uh, and I feel like a lot of you all, you know, you just focused on that word impossible and said, I'm possible, you know, I'm possible, I'm possible. There's no way that I can't do something because I can do anything. You started to speak positive affirmations. Um, with this blue moon, I do feel like a lot of you also developed um, that spiritual strength. Uh, through your time uh, in meditation, through your time connecting, perhaps if you have altars with your deities, your ancestors, calling on your guides, you know, um, reading, researching, doing your due diligence to, you know, fortify your protection. This is really, you know, showing how you've been able to transform and grow uh, personally, spiritually, mentally. As I said, this is really all about, you know, self-discipline. Um, you have to be self-disciplined. You have to know who you are in order to you know to, to achieve um you know this level of, of of transformation this is like you know startling metamorphosis emerging as someone completely different and that's very attractive and it's also you know something that everyone acknowledges including spirit so with your dreams need a practical plan perhaps like i said taking you know those nature walks getting out of the house uh, where there could be a lot of blockages, where there could be a lot of, you know, just different energy, radiation, stagnant energy, um, you know, it kind of blurs your vision. It kind of blocks, you know, you from being able to to um, see your potential, you know, to, to, to see your way out of certain, you know, binds, you know. So getting out of nature provides that opportunity to have a fresh pair of eyes. And so spirit is saying like, you know, with this energy, it's like, you, you need to ground yourself, you know, um, and, and like I said, some of you can take your shoes off if you're in a warmer climate and just literally ground yourself. Just take your shoes off, take your socks off and ground yourself. Your foot needs to be on the ground, in the soil, in the grass in order to release the toxins from your being, in order to balance your, 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 your energy to come into equilibrium. You know, this is very important. So spirit is saying for some of you all, you know, that's the way you all can come into some sort of, of you know, clarity is if you um, really purge, you know, purge that energy. And we have Guy and this is called Groove Me. So with Guy, I just feel like some of you guys, you know, you also need to get out in nature and meditate um, because I do feel like and then I'm also hearing under the guise um, so some of you all, you know, maybe you're under, you're, you're, you're okay. Cause I just got, I heard, so some of you could be doing things under the guise of, that's what I'm hearing. So maybe, like I said, with your dreams need a practical plan. Maybe some of you want to, um, pursue a certain area under the guise of, oh, well, this is working for them. So maybe it'll be, you know, um, successful or prosperous for me. And spirit is like, nah, you need a practical plan. You know, um, you need to really sit down and map out a plan and, and really deep dive, figure out what it is you want. Some people out here trying to manifest, they don't even know what they want. You know, you, you, you talk about you want to manifest a house. You ain't even look at a house online that you like. You don't even know what features you like. You don't even know what type of cabinets you want. You don't know what type of, you know, like what you don't know the square footage. You don't know the location. So it's like you literally have to um, sit down and you have to envision what it is you want. And then you, you put it in a plan, put it on a vision board. And every day you're looking at it and it becomes 
it becomes something that's a part of your reality. So it's like you're literally pulling it to you because we are, you know, electromagnetic beings. So it's like you do have the ability to manifest, but you have to have a clear concept of that of what you're trying to manifest and so spirit is saying you need a practical plan so some of y'all need to get back to the drawing board sit back in front of your you know manifestation journals and just start scribing what your true thoughts are um start expressing that you know in written form um take pictures and like i said do a vision board some of y'all may have a dusty vision board sitting on your you know your wall that you haven't looked at in in, in years and it's like get rid of that and and manifest new energy so you, know, you need a practical plan is what spirit is saying and also you know go with your gut instinct your intuition so spirit why is nature here for what's hidden in the energy may I have the message of love and light for my beautiful scorpios thank you spirit and we have confidence is your key to success so this is very beautiful because, like I said, when you are, um, you know, grounded, balanced, and in alignment, then that means that you are moving more assertively, you know, towards your your goals, you know, because now you're not allowing anything to, to you know, block you from what you desire. So with this nature, I feel like you discover exactly who you are and what you're made of, and you'll go in that direction uh, when you are, you know, feeling, you know, like you're in equilibrium, you know, so that's very important to be grounded because when you're not grounded, you make a rational decision. So spirit is saying confidence, you have to have confidence. This is a full moon um, in Leo. It's not a new moon, but it's a full moon. And Leo is all about vitality and strength. And you have to, you know, and even um, power, um, confidence, you know, so it's like spirit is telling you it's time to make that decision. What's hidden in the energy is, you know, that nature. This is what's going to lead to you having uh, more confidence. And that confidence is what leads you to su success because then you're more believable. You know, if you all scattery and you unsure of yourself, who's going to believe you, beloved? We don't believe you. You need more people, period. Like, like what? <laughs> so we have on the bottom of the deck, work through your fears and fears are nothing more than false expectations appearing real. You know, fears also face everything and rise, beloved. So this Scorpio, this is your energy. This is what you did. You moved fearlessly and now you bossed up. You know, this is that energy of willpower, determination, drive, vigor. It's like you can't tell this person anything. You know, this leadership, this is someone that, that you, you own you know, that, that role, but more importantly, you earned it. You earned this, this role. You earned this through your hard work, through your effort. And so when you work through your fears, there's no telling what you ac can accomplish. You could accomplish anything you set out to do. So that's powerful. So why is 81 leadership here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Why is this 81 leadership? Thank you, spirit. All right. And we have on the bottom of the deck, you are good enough. See that? So you got to know that. You got to love that self in order to, you got to heal that self in order to love that self. When you love that self, you know that self. So when you, you when you know who you are, you, like I said, you won't settle. You won't settle for less. You won't take anything less than what you deserve. You know, and that's what this leadership is all about. We got, it's time to take action. So that's exactly what a leader does. They boss up. They rise to the challenge. They rise to the occasion. And we have communication is key. So trust that there will be some form of communication. Someone is coming through. You know, there's some sort of communication that's going to lead to happiness and joy and elation. You know, because this is all about harmony. I feel something is it's destined. This also is like leading to some sort of new beginning. Because that 46 reduces to 1. But that's also like the 10. I'm getting like the 10 of Pentacles, the 10 of Cups. You know, I'm, I'm just getting good vibrations from that. Communication is key. Is saying that there's going to be like clear communication. There's going to be honest dialogue. There's going to be an opportunity to express your truth. And there not be any butthurt feelings or anybody taking anything the wrong way, you know, because when you speak with compassion, like spirit said, and you don't judge other people, whether this be you or someone else doing that to you or you doing that to someone else, what happens is you can, you can obtain clarity. Everybody can gain a better understanding of the other, even their perspective, even their perception of why something, you know, looked a certain way. But this is really about, you know, having that 
ability to speak effectively and not talk at people or talk down to people or be, you know, um, arrogant or being, you know, very, um, uh, what's that word, condescending. But it's like, you know, some sort of beautiful new beginning, domestic harmony can can really um, emerge. You know, when I hear domestic harmony, I'm thinking of family. I'm thinking of your unit, you know, your your uh, inner circles. This is people within your cipher. So this there can be clear and effective communication, which leads to some sort of harmonic um, dynamic. And so we have right here heart, barracuda. And so barracuda, I had to do some research last time. That was that's a fish, and that's a fish with a lot of teeth. So when I think of you know fish and teeth, you know, because that's almost like um, piranhas. They got them little teeth, and them things hurt. Like you know they can you know swarm of them things can can take out a damn shark. <laughs> I don't know what it could do, but I know it could do some damage. Put it like that. If you get bit by a couple of piranhas, I don't know if you're gonna have a leg. So that's just, again, like, you know, mind your word, mind your tongue, you know, um, that's what I'm getting from that with Barracuda. But I also feel like, you know, there's going to be a heart to heart, you know, there's going to be a heart to heart, you know, because Barracuda I was automatically was thinking about the mouth and the teeth and communication. That's how you communicate through, through your mouth. I mean, there's other forms, artistic communication, you know, um, creative communication but with this this is saying communication is key so there's an opportunity to clear the air and 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 have uh i honest dialogue you know uh which will bring clarity and maybe even some resolve so this will be the last group of cards we're going to pull and then we're going right out ah shay and look at that wasn't i talking about the eight of pentacles we got the eight of pentacles here so this is really hard work paying off, eyes on the prize, being so busy that you don't have time for the nonsense. And this was the type of energy I feel like you all um, ought to take up because I really feel like, you know, uh, when you are distracted uh, by distractions, it kind of holds you back. Not even kind of, it holds you back from what you're supposed to be doing, what you're supposed to be working on. And listening to about 40 people for f seven, eight hours a day, Saying the same regurgitated information is not conducive to your betterment at all. Not even listening to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not excluding myself. That's the one thing about me. I'm going to include me in the conversation. Don't listen to me either for that long. You know what I'm talking about? Like you need to go sit in with your thoughts. That's why nature's here. Spirit wants you to contemplate. You know, go within. You know, gain some 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 perspective of your own. You know, without outsiders. You know, and we got red man here. And this is called time for some action, you know, so it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move, you know, from that space of, of just, you know, just kind of like um, being very um, immobile or routine. You know, it's time for some action. It's time to, to start moving things along. So look at that. We got the three of swords and the eight of pentacles. Some of you all, this is how you distracted yourself. Remember, we had relationship change. So there was something that broke your heart and it said the answers you need are coming. So someone could really be coming in, you know, to perhaps apologize or to give you all some sort of clarity. Um, you know, if it's not that type of, of um, you know, communication, because I don't feel you're speaking to someone, uh, you know, because there's there's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of pain. But what you did was you turned pain into power. And you started to manifest. You also uh, changed what, you know, changed the direction of your life. You see that wheel right there. This is like, you know, this was all written in the cards. I feel like it was destined, you know, your success. This was also, you know, what triggered this painful circumstance, maybe triggering you all to discover your passions, uh, discover some sort of um, soul's mission. And that's why that relationship change was there and the answers you need are coming. So there's some sort of clear communication or there's going to be just that epiphanic moment where you realize what you ought to be focusing on and so with this three of pentacles see that there goes that light bulb see that this is the epiphany and so you all could have been holding on to the idea or the concept of love of a relationship but i feel like you finally get that aha moment and realize it's time to move on because the answers you seek are found within 
So you took that necessary time as you were working on whatever new idea, studying, learning, researching, investigating. As you did that work, that led to that, you know, very epiphanic moment. You know, and with red man, red is, you know, the color of the root chakra. So this card is literally like falling out. And so we have the two of pentacles. Some of you all could have discovered someone was juggling you, juggling another person, which could have led to heartbreak which is still on the bottom of the deck, that three of swords is literally like, you know, a heart being pierced by a sword, and that is very painful. Um, there could have been, you know, third parties. Um, there could have been just a lot of pain that you endured, um, but you lost yourself, you know. You lost yourself uh, in some sort of, you know, creative way, maybe a business idea, maybe going back to school, you know, maybe, you know, really... Um, delving deeper into your spirituality uh, but I do feel like you know maybe if there was some, a sense of like someone juggling you or you feeling like you just had a lot of responsibilities you were overwhelmed I do feel like there is absolutely going to be a change and this is a positive change um, that's coming through I feel like it's positive because I see faces in the background that are smiling you know and and smiles always denote that you know the unforeseen, like something we can't see, you know, we may not be able to see what's coming, but it's like spirit is like trust the process. So that two, that 56, that's the sacral. So it's like, you know, this is about, you know, um, moving to the beat of your own drum, you know, and, and, and prioritizing you this time around, you know, that could be the download you received. And that epiphanic moment was that moving forward, you're putting you first. Um, and whatever it is you're juggling, I feel things do get easier. Uh, with this Three of Swords, emotions are running high. Someone could be really going through a painful end as well. As I said, you both are mirroring one another if this is a person. Um, so there is a sense of like, you know, someone's uh, going through some sort of painful loss. We have Patty LaBelle, and this is called um, If Only You Knew. So, you know, if only you knew somebody else was going through the pain uh, you know, that they were going through, you know, maybe you would be um, a little more receptive, a little more open to this person to help them, or maybe you would feel differently. So look what we have here. We have this Ace of Wands. So this person does feel a lot of passion. I feel like they're also headed in a completely different direction because their emotions are running high. As I said, their heart chakra is wide open and there is an attraction. Um, there is a desire for a new start. There is a desire to work together. There goes that Eight of Pentacles again. So this could be someone that you did walk away from, move away from, created boundaries and space. Um, and you know maybe this is what led to this person doing their work uh, and, and realizing they could have been you know codependent or in toxic entanglements and now there's like this this new uh start you know this is like a new opportunity a new beginning um and it's because they're they're following their heart if only you knew how they felt um i feel like you know things would be different so i do feel like this person will take action uh because they can see like a future with you they can see building with you growing with you um if this isn't a person per se this is just you attracting some sort of brand new beginning uh you're going to be elated because this is something that you've worked hard for uh you can see here very focused very diligent um very determined and you're the one uh now you know that that deserves like you know things to turn in your favor because of your hard work it's paying off so spirit is literally like you know um saying that this is destined for you uh and that could be why you know believe in the impossible is here because you believed in yourself even when you was heartbroken you know busted and disgusted it's like you still kept working you kept fighting so there's two cards this card here is sticking out and i'm gonna take this one as well this is for um how, who, or what you are attracting to you feels about you. So we have rebirth, believe in the impossible. And so we have this 10 of wands. So this is about you really like, you know, finally unburdening yourself, letting go of what was and moving on towards what can be. This is, you know, the 10 of wands, but look at that beautiful owl that speaks to your wise dome, which is what I was saying here with the 16, which is rebirth. This is that personal growth, you know, growing mentally, spiritually, emotionally, like you learned a lot from these circumstances. You know, these are all the different people and circumstances um, that you felt like you were carrying around 
on your shoulders, all the burdens, all people's problems, and you felt like, you know, there was no reciprocity. Um, you were overwhelmed, but you still learned a lot in this process. And you learned a lot about what you deserve. You learned a lot about, you know, what you require, as I said. And that's why that that uh, owl is here because the owls always denote wise don't you know um, we have here this page of Pentacles so this is really like some some brand new idea new spark of inspiration um, you know wherever you were cloudy before you can see the clouds kind of dissipating you know it's like now you got some sort of new um, energy or some new exciting direction that you wish to take things so you could be studying some new um, concepts maybe you're learning about you know computer programming maybe you're learning more about cryptocurrency uh maybe you are just you know starting a business whatever it is it's like you are really excited about this this was like your passion now this is something that you are um rediscovering you enjoy you know because you've put all the drama all the you know the negativity that you was holding on to from the past you're like you're letting that go and it's like you're starting over with something that speaks to your spirit your so your heart your soul and we have do me baby by melissa morgan there and then we have the ten of pentacles here so this is beautiful so the ten of pentacles i feel strongly like you know just like spirit says confidence is your key to success you're you're guaranteed success by just you know trusting trusting the process but also uh taking that time to meditate and contemplate so that you can move in the right direction so that you could strategize appropriately uh, plan accordingly uh, because you are guaranteed you know this this financial blessing um, for whatever it is that you do for whatever this is that you are starting it's like spirit is saying it's going to lead to um, expansion and opulence and growth and you're going to flourish you know but your confidence is the key to your success so you have to you know not only believe in yourself but you got to know um, that everything that you desire um, is yours already you you know you got to know you're a miracle you got to know that it is your birthright to live in opulence um, and like I said with this but you know believe in the impossible it, you have to know you're possible I'm possible is what you should be saying not I, I might be or it could be it's I am I'm possible so divine spirit of love and light why is the 74 nature here and confidence is your key to success we have a message of love and light for what's hidden so this card is sticking out that's what they want me to choose and it's two of them so look at that that same ten of pentacles came right back out so this is guaranteed this is what's hidden you keep at it you keep working at it this is what you're gonna get that's why I was getting here like I was getting like the you know the ten of cups ten of pentacles with this 46 domestic harmony this is literally what this is this is like happy house happy spouse this is also a connection that's very natural a la natural like someone you're gonna have a dope synergy chemistry similarity familiarity this is like the yin to your yang yang to your yin divine counterpart cosmic companion like beautiful and look who's here watching over this this could be that great grandmother you know that ancestor I was picking up on because I slipped and said death and I felt like you had a loved one someone that could have passed on that watches over you and this is that energy right there if you see that there's also a masculine up here that's leading a path and I also look at that as a masculine energy that could be leading you to success to victory they're walking straight towards these coins this this is beautiful energy because this does speak to like you know um you having like um building a legacy building you know that that um generational wealth having that happy house happy spouse happily ever after you know this is beautiful energy and we also have the seven of cups here so the seven of cups is also telling me like you know with confidence you know with confidence you can have whatever you desire but you have to take off the mask be your authentic self you know don't try to aim to please everyone this is about self-love self-worth knowing what you desire knowing what you require knowing what you want now this is about you doing what's best for you you know whenever I see cloaks and masks that means someone is not being their authentic self someone's wearing a false mask someone's not being true to themselves and even with all these options you have to be true to yourself you have to know which option is best for you you gotta choose wisely 
That's beautiful because this is telling me that, you know, you may have options. You And that's why that word intuition kept coming to me. And we have here the four of wands. Look at that. 1111. That's the four of wands vibration. So some of you are definitely coming into a beautiful divine uh, connection here. Spiritual connection. Spirit corrected me. Said, no, nah, this is a spiritual connection, a sacred connection. Um, with this leadership, I feel like because you had to learn to take the reins of your life, you know, take the reins and and direct the you know direct your life the way you saw fit you know you had to take action you had to be proactive you had to be physically doing something in order to change direction you don't just get rewarded and not recognized and acknowledged for just sitting on your hands and so there's there's some stability here this is also like you coming into a divine union. This could lead to marriage. This could lead to living with one another. This is commitment. This is beautiful. This could also lead to, you know, some sort of stability in your career or stability um, in some sort of um, business. Like, you you know, because this Aries, Aries is like the entrepreneur, you know. So that's someone that works very hard. Very determined, very powerful, master manifester, goes after what they want. You know, we have this knight of wands. So this could be like, you know, that old energy of, you know, heartbreak. Because this right here always gives me a sense of like, you know, someone who is flighty in and out, non-committal, uh, you know, could have caught some sort of STDs, you know, kind of like thinking, you know, letting their wand, you know, their their, their phallus lead, you know, in 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 lead them in the direction they should go not really using um their common sense you know using the smaller head and not the big head even if this is a feminine energy you know just thinking with your loins and and this is you know just always moving with passion you know and and that could be a good thing depending on what you're passionate about if you're just passionate about having sex all day then that that you know and so this 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 you know there's definitely eye spies here someone watching all right, so let's put that back. Let's see what these cards are. So I'm going to take two. Okay, so there's a lot of cards. Should I take all of these? Because I don't even know how to break it up. Let me put these cards back. I'm going to put them on the bottom of the deck. Divine Spirit. And I saw that four wands. Divine Spirit. Let me, let me bang, bang, boogie the cards. Thank you, Spirit. So why is um, 81 leadership? It's time to take action. My nose is itching like crazy. For the outcome, they have a message of love and light spirit. Why is 81 leadership? It's time to take action here for the outcome. Thank you, spirit. They gave me one message. And we have the eight of cups. Didn't I say y'all walked away from something? So this is literally what happened. You walked away from someone and now someone wants to return to offer you what they weren't willing to give you before. I feel like with the outcome, with it's time to take action. Like someone sees how much you bossed up, saw how much you've transformed and owned your power. And now it's like... This has like inspired someone. It's probably you taught them because we did see the page of sword and we have Mary J. Blige. Um, All I really want is to be happy and the final love that's mine. It'll be so sweet. That's what she's saying. And that's what somebody really wants. They realize when you're gone. All of their happy days are gone, you know. This also could just lead to you moving in a direction that brings a sense of peace, serenity, happiness, you know. So you could be very protective of your energy. This is how you have um, transformed to really guard your protection, to really, I mean, to really guard your energy, to really guard um, who you allow in, you know. So you're very mindful of that. Uh, others see you also as a leader, as a boss, standing on your podium, uh, speaking truth, speaking facts, speaking power, um, you know, truth to power. Uh, you know, this is someone who may, you know, look to you uh, as, you know, someone who is, um, you know, very gifted, very wise, very informed. So with that spiritual career, some of you all may be doing something with your throat chakra. Some of you all may be speakers, maybe you're self healers, uh, uh, shamans, healers, you know, you're in the field uh, where you are helping others, you know, heal and, and, and break free from trauma, you know, um, so that's very powerful. And look at that, that same page of swords. So whoever this person is, they're kind of gauging, you know, how to come in. This is somebody that wants peace. I'm here and I come in peace, especially with domestic harmony. So there is someone that's ready to speak to you, ready to talk things out. 
you know, um, especially with this, you know, page of sword, you see the sword is up whenever the sword is up. I feel like that's someone ready to communicate. They still can be a little guarded, um, you know, in, in their communication, they could be gathering up information or just looking for a means like how to approach you. But I do feel like communication is key. I also see there's a five of cups. So there could have been conflicts in the past people in someone's ear. There's definitely heavy regrets, but they are pushing past all of those fears because they really are tired of self-sabotaging. You know, they're tired of being deceitful or deceptive. They could have done some things in the past. There's definitely a sense of wanting, you know, to manifest you or manifest some sort of change in this circumstance, in this situation. This could be your energy. Um, I also feel like someone's heart sick, heartbroken. Also feeling like they've missed a major opportunity, but they're willing to take the leap, you know. If this is you, this could be your energy, literally, you know, finally saying enough is enough. I'm moving on. Uh, I'm not going to be competing for something that I'm not even passionate about. And this is you taking your power back and moving forward, moving to the beat of your drum. Like this is you being balanced and saying, you know, I'm going to go after what I want very assertively, very confidently. Um, you're no longer going to lie to yourself about what you desire or what you want. Um, and you're also not going to allow people to dupe you and tell you what they want to tell you. Um, you're manifesting new. You're manifesting something different and I feel like you're absolutely going to achieve just that especially as soon as you just follow through and take that leap you know follow what your heart you know and your mind you have to be balanced so you got to be thinking logically um, but you also have to be you know emotionally um, in equilibrium as well and then that's how you choose that's how you decide you know, which direction, which course of um, action you're going to take. But this was a beautiful read in Scorpios. I hope that this message resonated for you all. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope the message has resonated. Um, hope my energy, my vibe, the way I read resonates. And uh, if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace, love, and light, y'all.